He got the same thing. His all-time favorite smasher, me. me. <laughs> Not in third person though. This is different. I mean, if Anyways. you want, you can you can decide to take it <laughs> that way. Maybe yeah. his all-time favorite smasher is missing though. Maybe it's moves. <laughs> but True. we got game one. Yeah, game one's up. So the type of strategy that I saw from Yo and Recon before, uh, Yo would dominate the on stage uh, because you know Cloud going off stage is fairly risky. And you think that the same will apply to Gandorf, but no, because he will go off stage and uh, he'll do whatever he can to like give his opponent, damage his opponent with like tipmins and stuff like that. So he wants to, you know, uh, try and just like disrupt the opponent off stage to try and uh, make their recovery somewhat difficult. I think if he get if he gets Mario off stage, that's gonna be super effective because his you know recovery isn't like it's it's linear and it doesn't go that far. Whereas it's not a Pika recovery. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Major's recovery is like enough mix up. Whoa. Whoa! He just throws Can't it out. from that. That's I awareness. God love those finishing touches. Yeah. You know, like they say that like uh, Gandalf's recovery is pretty bad. And I'll say that if he's at the like the side of the stage, it is somewhat uh, exploitable because oh no, yo, so is yeah. missing. But like because of his poor air speed, he'll suffer. But his up B actually goes a really respectable distance. So, you know, uh, he can like be stay laying, hanging at the ledge and is disrupting the opponent, which I'm expecting to see later. Ooh. And trying to just throw Cloud off stage there because you know once Cloud uses his up B, we have what's called RC or air speed. His air speed will be reduced until uh, you know he does another action. Right. Which of course Cloud can't do because you know if he does something off stage, he's not going to come back. Cloud's so, got limit on deck right here. Yeah. And immediately side B. Gets rid of Mario. When he got that, when he's got that reheat, that's all he needs. Yeah. So, you know what? What I'm not really like. What I'm kind of seeing is playing to the detriment of Sakai, Reaver, and, and I. They're someone. They're not just getting separated, but they're separating themselves from their opponents. What I'm thinking is, once you have, at least like, especially against these two opponents, once you have them off the stage, you want to keep going. Like, you don't want them to come back to stage because, especially Cloud's recovery is super exploitable. Gandorf yeah. with the right like counterplay, you can do it. So like, and Pikachu has all the all the potential for those edge guards. So yeah, Pikachu. We'll see some of that. Pikachu is one of the most potent edge guards in the game. Yeah. Like oh, that. Trust me, I, know. <laughs> I, I was expecting that, but like, yo, so was yo, so that's why he's safe. Ooh, yeah. Trying to chop him off stage. That's coverage. So many tools off stage, and you'll almost always get back. So yeah. Why not? But the thing is that, like, for example, if like an eye is like attacking his opponent like on the ledge, if he if if an eye was like on the ledge, we we could see Pikachu like go off the stage and try and you know disrupt his opponents there and like you know play the ledge guard. And whereas uh, an eye would like play to on stage pressure, but we're not really seeing that. They're kind of staying away from each other. Oh, yeah, speaking of Pikachu, and, yeah, he's out, now Mario's out, no And I giving a lot of respect to the up tilt, because the thing is, you never, that's, what, that's what one of the hardest things about Ganon, you never want to get disrespected. Right, yeah, you know, you <laughs> so never... You, you get so much respect, and then you die. Yep, like, you get you too don't, scared of those Ganon size. You don't want to get up tilts on stream, so like... Yeah, you, you don't just, get, yeah, you don't get Ganon size on stream, you don't want to get shield broken on stream. You don't, don't want to get, get, like, uh, Warlock punched on stream. Yeah, you don't get anything. That happened too many times for me. That's the Ganon effect, man. That's <laughs> Me the Ganon Memories effect. of Hype Central Weekly. Is with, I know. Uh, you mean you mean Ganon Central? <laughs> Ganon Central, in the, our city of Gunanto. Gan Gan <laughs> Gunanto in Ga in the uh, country of Ganada. Got got Suji Ganon on stream. It was fun time. <laughs> Suji Ganon, the disrespectful, always up tilt you at the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, I've seen the Ganon. Just call it Ganon Central. Because you know we have like we have so, so many Ganons. Ganons. Ganon's fun, you know. Yeah, it's like yeah. so. And the thing about Ganon that I find that I highly respect is that it really does like when you play any low tier character, it forces you to play better. It forces you to play smarter because yeah, your character has less tools, so you have to level up your own personal skill and like make sure you're good at that off stage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, off stage. You have, to, you have to make sure that you're good at you know, not um. What was the fan am I like? <laughs> I I, I uh, derped in the moment. Yeah, like well, you just gotta learn how to respect him. You know, he's he's heavy, so you got all the combos and stuff. Yeah. But the second you like let go of that and like think you're winning, get that like I don't know down air shield break when you're not expecting it, and then exactly. bye bye, have a nice day, you know. Have a nice day. So, have, have a have a nice spike, have, or have a nice uh, warlock punch, you know. Have a nice. Uh, I'm, you're going on my next Ganon montage. <laughs> yeah. I got another respect him. Yeah. So final D, they're switching to double Bayo. Switch, yeah, double Bayo. So we actually saw this before. We saw this with uh, 
the first set of players, which was um, Mitch and Lamis versus uh, Pip Up and First Use Samus. We saw those right. two as well, go double bail. Didn't really work out, so you have to be, a little, yeah, you have to be somewhat careful with that. Yeah. Um, they're really good characters, especially on their own. They can keep an opponent busy for so long, but the thing you have to be careful of is, um, you know, if like because the character is somewhat light and like vulnerable to getting punished, you have to be careful about that. And what I don't, what I didn't see from the other team, I didn't see them really working on team synergy. I saw them kind of individually, you know, placing themselves. And that's what we saw in the previous game too. Yeah. The two players would like separate themselves all the time. So I want to see what two bayonetas can do to these opponents, especially because Bayonetta so can edge guard so well. And these guys again can get edge guard. I want to see them go off stage and make them never come back like that. Against uh, Yo, although I think he, oh, sorry, Raycom, I think he just got knocked off too far. You know, but you know, I want to see that sort of thing. We got one going oh, we got off the top. Oh, there, you go. there we go. You got one going off the top, and you got one trap trying to trap at the ledge. Yeah, sort of. Bayo stuff. All this Bayo stuff happening. Yeah, I mean. Bayonetta, obviously, arguably one of the best characters in the game, if not the best character in the game. So, double up that. <laughs> double up me and double four there at the same time. Yeah, Bale's free, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Bale's same free. kind of stuff. Hashtag Bale's free. Uh -oh. oh, air dodge. Maybe, like, yeah, the Bayonetta's recovery is like. Like, if you play other characters, it's kind of unconventional. It's really weird. Of, you got you got up special before you jump. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, if you uh, up. Uh, your up special action, it doesn't go that far on its own, so. If you only have that, you not you could be in a bad position because like yeah. Bayonetta heavily relies on side B to recover the stage because of her poor air speed. Well, it's rel relatively poor. I'd, I'd argue that like situationally, like Bayonetta's recovery is like one of the best, not the best. But if I have to compare it to Pikachu, which I play, I'd say uh, P like in general, Pikachu I think gets you further. Mm. Oh wow, nice. That was smarter, but yeah, Pikachu recovery is just so many victims. But the thing, like, that was so smart. Like, although it didn't like the finish touch and the kill, it was the awareness that mattered so much. And even for the brief time that you separate your opponents, even if you don't kill, that's important because you want to be able to, uh, you know, pressure them off stage. You want to be able to, uh, you know, get some kind of stage control so that you pressure them and like continue your pushing your advantage. Killed by F tilt. No stocks to share either, so last stock. That's one Bayo down, another one to go. It's a witch hunt, man. <laughs> the king of evil and the the, Sh the Shinra soldier versus the witch. Uh oh. There you go. Ooh. That was a really nice uh, team combo right there. Smart team conversion like there. It. That's so, it's so That's interesting. Set. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like, because like Cloud's throws perfectly knock another opponent, especially down. Like, down throw has a lot of DI angles but like it, it has perfect amount of knockback to try and you know pressure them to uh you know they'll get hit and then like they'll get hit into the, like, the perfect area for the opponent to be aware of gives them enough time to be like i know where you're gonna go so here's your here's the follow-up you know back air one of the strongest back airs in the game <laughs> 